how bad for your for your last RDPA? Yeah. Uh, has that kind of hit you that it's that the last one? Yeah, I still have a, a month left of amateur golf, but it's pretty special to be uh, ending Rochester golf here at the RDGA Championship. It's pretty awesome. How does this compare to the, to the other ones? I mean, Different, obviously different course, but yeah, different course. Uh, I haven't played this one too. Um, I didn't play Stafford two years ago, but it's nice to go to a new course and shoot on a nice number under par. And you know, it wasn't easy. It was really windy out there, and uh, you know, just to have my last one of the three, it's pretty special. Why do you think you're able to find so much success in this tournament? Um, well, the past three years they've been relatively short golf courses, uh, and I, I hit pretty far, so it was, I was able to take advantage of a lot of holes. Um, but uh, I, I putted always really well these these past uh, three years at this tournament, which is definitely a big help. Tell us about uh, your round today. Uh, today was a uh, it was nice. It was a steady round. Um, I didn't you know throw any like lightning on the board or anything like that. But I never really put myself in any trouble. Uh, past three rounds, I, I even though I shot decent scores, I was always in some trouble. So uh, to be able to just kind of play easy and not have any worries it was pretty awesome and then having four birdies on top of that makes it nice you how did you like the course setup this week i know they gave you a lot of options yeah it yeah. was really fun actually uh, i really liked uh the different every hole like, was almost drivable they tried to do like a uh, third hole was they put it up today and then 17 being able to driver and 15 on the first round there was it was always like making you think when what clubs to hit and because there's there's a couple of holes without a bounds and some water and with the new tees it, it wasn't really a an easy uh thinking course you had to really uh know what you wanted to hit and know different yardages and so i i played pretty smart i never lost the ball the whole week and i think that was pretty key did you try some different options during the practice round um during the practice round i kind of just I just wanted to see if I could hit driver everywhere, and uh, I didn't want to hold back and try to, you know, play like two iron. I have a two iron that I really like in on some courses, but I just wanted to see if I could kind of bust driver everywhere. And I was, it was pretty. There was no, there was a couple of places where it was like open. If I hit driver hard enough, I could kind of get through all the different trees. So I felt like it was almost um, more open if I hit driver instead of laying back, where there was kind of more more of the trouble was. So I played with that most of the week and. Uh, very pretty well. Talk about their place in history. This is three in a row, which hasn't been done in almost 30 years here at the championship. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty special. And uh, <laughs> at the Champions Dinner the other night, I was sitting with John Kircher, and he's won four times, and the Ryan family, and Joe Wilson. It's pretty cool to be around a lot of great players, and uh, to be able to win three straight and have my whole family here. It's it's pretty awesome. <laughs> no complaints. <laughs> great. Thanks, Trevor.